Hey guys, it's Willie here again with another episode of Embroidery Hub. Now, if you didn't know, here at Recoma, we launched our new line of heat presses together with a white toner transfer print. With this device, we can basically print designs on almost anything. To show you what this machine can do, we've decided to show you a really cool technique that combines both the print and embroidery that will be sure to wow your customers. In this episode, I'll create a large multimedia design with a print fill and embroidery accents and show you the tips and tricks that you need to place your two designs correctly on your garment. Not only that, but we're giving this design away for free. So stay to the end of the video so you can find out where to get it. Like always, let us know if you have any questions about this project and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now let's go ahead and get started. All right, so these are the materials we're going to be using for this project. Also, everything we're going to be mentioning right now is going to be in the description below. For the embroidery machine, we have our 75 by 11 size needle, we have our 40 weight thread, our snips like always, and we're going to be embroidering on this sweater. Now, since this sweater is pretty thick, we're going to be using the magnetic hoops. I strongly recommend them, and if you guys wanna learn more about these magnetic hoops, go ahead and follow the description below. And now for a printer, we're going to be using these two sheets. One is your transfer sheet and the other is your adhesive sheet. And for a heat press, we're going to be using our Teflon sheet. Now the printer we're going to be using for this project is a white toner transfer printer. If you want to learn more about this printer, go down to the description below. Now for the heat press, we're going to be using one of the two new flat heat presses. Now today I'm using the Recoma EM1010. This is a 10 needle machine. Now in our previous videos, we've done yoga mats and car mats and a bunch of other things with this machine. If you guys wanna check those out, go and scroll down to the description below. All right, so let's talk about the profit potential for this piece. So to start off, we bought the sweater at a Marshalls for $18, but you can get it cheaper by buying it in wholesale for about $6 on sites like Jiffy Shirts. Now you can usually find embroidered sweaters online for around $35, but since we're doing a big impressive design using mixed media, I would say you can easily sell a sweater like this for about $60 or more, depending on whether it's a custom design from a client or not. Then we'll subtract the cost of the ink, the thread, and the paper for the printer, which would be a cost of around $5, and that leaves us with around $50 of profit more or less. This technique is creative not just because it lets you create interesting designs on clothing, but also allows you to save on production time since the majority of the design is printed almost instantly instead of having to embroider the whole thing. All right, so let's go ahead and print out our transfer sheet. All right, guys, so all we have to do now is transfer it over to our software. From the software, we're going to be printing it on our machine. So after I drag it over, all I have to do now is make sure my design is right on the center. Now all we have to do is pretty much just print. Now this is going to be a quick overview on how to use the software in the printer. In the future, we promise you we're gonna have more videos for you. Just stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those. This is our white transfer printer. Now as you can tell, this is a very small printer but it does a lot of pretty cool designs and we're gonna show you that now. Now I'm gonna get my transfer sheet we have here and we're going to be placing it inside of this tray. Now as always, we're going to have our shiny part of the transfer paper facing down. Now close it and since we have already sent over our design, it should automatically print. If you guys wanna learn more about this printer, go to the description below. Now before we get started, we wanna make sure that we preheat the bottom layer by setting the temperature to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to be doing this for 120 seconds. Now one of the cool things about this heat press is that it has an auto open feature as soon as the timer goes off. Now what we're going to do is bring this out and we're going to be using our adhesive sheets and placing it over our design, which is our transfer paper. One of the corners, I'm going to just bend it up. This is gonna make it easier to pull them apart after it's done. Let's bring it in, and I'm going to be adding my Teflon sheet. Now, this is also going to be for another 120 seconds. All right, now we're gonna pull it off, and we're going to be just peeling it off smoothly. There we go. Now, as you can tell, the adhesive fused in with the design. 
And now we're ready to heat transfer it over to the sweater. All right, so now I'm gonna place the sweater down, make sure I'm in the center. All right, so now we're gonna be placing a transfer sheet with the shiny part facing up. Bring it in. And we're going to be placing our Teflon sheet on top so that the heat can nicely go all around the design. Now for this one, we're going to be setting our timer at 40 seconds. All right, we're gonna take the Teflon sheet out. Now these Teflon sheets are reusable. Now we're gonna bring it out and I'm going to get it off of the heat press and let it cool down because this is a cold peel. What that means is that we're going to have to leave it off so it could cool down for around five minutes and then we can peel it off. All right, so it feels pretty cold already. Let's go ahead and peel it off. Okay, so for the last step, we're going to be placing it right back on our heat press and this is just to seal it on the garment itself. As always, we're gonna use our Teflon Let's bring it in and for 20 seconds now. All right, guys, so this is it. Let's go ahead and peel it off. Okay, so now that we have our design printed on the sweater, what I'm going to do is get my magnetic hoop. I'm going to split them apart and I'm going to use the lower part and put it inside my sweater. Now, since I'm doing two different designs, I'm going to do the first one a little bit towards this left side here. Now I'm going to do one flower in this side and another flower towards this side here. So that means that I'm going to have to re-hoop this after I finish with the first flower. Now, once I have uh, my hoop set up, now I'm going to use my stabilizer and put it under. Now that I'm centered, I'm going to use my magnetic hoops and just place it down. There we go. If you need to do any extra stretching on the sides, you may do so now. All right, and the flower is gonna go right here. So now what I'm going to do is get the lower part of the sweater since it's the open area, put it in the sewing arm first and clip in my hoop to my brackets. All right, now that that's in, just make sure that there's nothing that's going to get on the way of the sewing arm and the needle. Nice and clean. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our panel. The first thing I'm going to do is choose my design. We're gonna go and press on the file button and now I've already transferred it from my USB memory to my machine's memory. So all I have to do is look for it. And here I have it. Now, since I am gonna be doing the first one, uh, it's gonna be the purple one because it's gonna go on the left side. Here we have it. Just press the OK button. And I have already preset my uh, color sequence. So now all I have to do is just press OK. Now I'm going to be choosing my hoop and let me choose the D hoop since we are using our magnetic hoop. And now all I have to do is make sure that I flip my design because I am going to be putting my sweater in backwards. So flip it 180, press the OK. All right, now we're going to escape. And now all we have to do is just lock our machine. And just to make sure I will be running my design at a thousand stitches a minute. And then I'm going to be using my arrow keys to place the flower in the location that I need it to be. Let me go ahead and trace. All right, guys, so we're pretty much set. We have our design in the location where it needs to be, and we have 13,000 stitches, so it's gonna take us about 15 minutes to go. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Just press the start button, and that's it.
guys, so this looks really good. Uh, all I have to do now is pretty much get it off the machine and go to my hooping station and re-hoop for my next design. So I'm going to be hooping uh, towards the right side now and putting it back into the machine, recentering it into the location that I needed to go and just tracing and pressing the start button. As always, let us know in the comments below what other kinds of projects you would like us to make videos on. And know that while this video is focusing on a mixed media design using embroidery accents to a print, there are many other reasons why you would do a mixed media design. Whether that be to save on cost and time by printing your fill or other creative applications. And make sure to check back in as we'll be making more videos covering this topic in the future. All right, guys, this is done. Let's go ahead and take it off now and let's see how it came out. Woo, that looks nice. So let's go ahead and take this off. All right, so now all we have to do is cut out the stabilizer and we should be good to go. Now you can make this a little bit closer but just for the video purposes i'm going to just do it really quickly so you can see if you want you can go more into details and go all the way in here and cut them out from there all right let's clean up all the tails it's in the back just so it can have a better feel to it And that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the full design. Whoa, now that looks neat. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you combine printing and embroidery to create a stunning multimedia design. This is a great way to stand out from the crowd and get even more use out of your equipment. If you want to try this out for yourself, make sure you download this design in the description below. Also, if you want to connect with other apparel decorators like myself, join our free Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. There you can ask questions and join the community. Also, for the latest in the world of decorated apparel, follow us on Instagram at RacomaHQ. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.